Good morning. We love the ducks, but man, can they dirty up a clean water bucket in no time. Uh, today's gonna be our first day milking our girl. Um, I wanted to give her a few days to just settle in and not stress the baby out. And last night we put baby up in the barn. Mama's been on the pasture. I wanted to make sure she was getting enough grass. We were running low on hay and <clears throat> so we're gonna run over there and check on them. Hopefully, if today goes smooth and easy, we won't have to take the whole family every time and I can just kind of get up and slip out and milk and have everything done by the time the house is waking up and moving around. That's my plan. When I told my mother-in-law that idea and that plan, she laughed at me, so. <laughs> well, see, I'm not a morning person, but this is gonna force me to be a morning person. We, just a side note, we get our hay right from the guy who cuts the hay. We go right out to the field that it came from, um, and that way we're helping somebody in our community. Although we do love our local feed store, and we try to go anytime we need anything extra. Yeah, we uh, do we love our local feed store. Our, our local feed store. <laughs>
try to help them as much as we can and support them. Um, but it is, it cuts the price in half, going right out to the field and buying hay from the guy. Um, so maybe just a little bit of, you could do a little bit of research and find out the farmers in your area and go right right to them. And I'm mm -hmm. sure they would, uh, they would appreciate it as well. Yes. Gotta support our local farmers for sure. Because our goal is to grow as much food as possible and to raise as much as possible, we're not able to support farmers in that way. But our animals need hay, so even though we're not gonna necessarily buy beef from him, from example, for example, we can support him by buying hay. And then we can support our local feed store by buying um, our feed from them as well. So you're never truly self-sustaining. You will always need somebody for something, but that's where community comes in. That's where getting to know your farmers matter, getting to know the people that own the local feed store matters because we're not meant to be an island on our own. We are meant to uh, work and contribute and grow in a community setting. Yeah, and I am so thankful for the people that these girls came from. They have been the best resources on our little journey. Yeah. Have you been sitting here the whole time? <laughs> you and Meatball? Yep, me and Meatball. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he likes bugs. He does? Hey, what do you do, Meatball? He went to the bathroom three times. Oh, that's good. Yep. Little baby turkey. <laughs> Good job, bud. Thank, Thank you. you. So, <laughs> obviously, milking didn't go as planned. Nope. Um, <laughs> that's okay, because we learned something, and it's not a total loss, because we learned a lot. Um, we are going to have to come up with a stand. My father-in-law was just here. Uh, and we were telling him about it all and so he's, his carpenter brain is already starting to turn and he's coming up with ideas and um, we were telling him about the mobile milk stand that a lot of people use and how we like that idea because we do want to move her around the farm. So he's already coming up with ideas and I don't know. I know there's people probably watching this like, uh, yeah, what, what are you doing owning a cow? You have no clue what you're doing. Um, true. <laughs> but I, as I've said before, I'm not afraid to try and I'm not afraid to learn. And today, if all that I accomplished was a lesson in this classroom, it's not a loss. So we know what to do better. We know what we need and you just go with it. You just learn and you grow and you do better every day. It's like that with everything. If I would have, I didn't know how to be a nurse when I started nursing school. I had to learn every single day and even once I graduated, I still had to learn. Every time I stepped foot in the door of the hospital in that ICU, I learned something every day. That's life. So you can't be afraid to start something or do something because you don't know how to do it. And you can read all the books in the world and watch all the videos and things and you're still not gonna know. <laughs> I thought I knew it and I thought I was ready and then you go and you put your hands on it and it's totally, totally different. But that's okay. I said all that to say I'm not discouraged you shouldn't be discouraged with where you're at. If something's not going the way you pictured, stop, reevaluate, pivot if you need to, and keep going, because that's, that's what it's all about. So we are going to brainstorm over 
the next few days. My father-in-law is already on it, coming up with ideas, and we're going to just see what we can come up with. We might come up with a plan, think it's great, and then still have to change it and reevaluate. That's okay, because that's life. Um, the good news about all of this is what's really sort of a lifesaver is the fact that she does have a calf. Because I was not able to milk her out today. It just, it was not happening. Uh, she was dancing too much. We didn't, we did not clearly have the right setup. And, um, I was, a, we were able to let that calf out and she nursed on mama right away and all is well. So, uh, it's not a complete and total, um, disaster fee as we, as we call things. Um, it's just, we've got to go back to that drawing board and we got to figure out a new plan. It's all going to work out in the end and it's going to work out in the end for you too. <laughs> so may the Lord bless and keep you until we meet again.